Hello and welcome, I'm Steam Knight, and today we'll be playing Nightmare of Decay. So you're probably wondering why I'm going back to this game after beating it a little while ago. That's because I want to go into the extras, uh, disabled cultists as well, and I want to try the randomizer hard mode. So, it, from what I understand, this is literally just the whole game again, but items and enemies are like just randomly like replaced with each other. I went in and I gave it a quick like look, correct, uh, look just to sort of see how it was, and it was quite hard. To be fair, like only having the pistol and fighting some really like late game stuff, it was kind of uh, kind of crazy. So let's pop into it now. I don't know if I'm gonna be good enough at this game to be able to beat this, but uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. Also, it skips the whole intro bit for you in your apartment, which is nice. I think I'll watch the cutscenes again. Just to, uh, you know, <laughs> it's been a while and I've only watched it the once, so I might uh, just like, leave the cutscenes on. Right, so this beginning bit out here is pretty much the same until you actually get inside the building, so you'll, you'll get the knife and the gun and stuff down there like normal. I don't think that zombie randomizes. Yep, there's a scream. There it is, the cat. Hello there. You see a cat sitting on the railing at the top of the stairs. It stares at you with unnaturally intelligent eyes. Hello, stranger. The cat greets you, and strangely enough, you can understand what it's saying. It looks like the nightmare has claimed yet another victim. Many have been brought here against their will, only to meet a terrible end, one way or another. No one has ever managed to escape alive. The cat pauses to look you up and down, almost as if to praise you of your worth. It seems unimpressed. I wonder how long you'll be able to survive for. Not long if I had to make a guess. It'll be fun to see how you meet your end in this horrible place. Maybe one of the monsters will get you, or maybe you'll go insane and end yourself. Well, I need to get going. Good luck, stranger. Try not to die too fast. The reason why I turned off the cultists as well, I should probably say, in case you're thinking like, oh, I'm cheating, whatever. It's like, the cultists are like the most annoying enemy in this game, let's be real. Any, I think I said this in the main playthrough as well, any enemy in like a Resident Evil type game that has a gun is just annoying. It's not fun to fight those and then imagine that with a bunch of other random enemies in your face and then you've got a jerk with a gun behind them like taking pot shit at you no thanks and also they were like really strong in the, the base game so to a point where they had like updates where they were nerfed so you know I'm just saying uh, right how do I what key this again there we go that's the one uh, Bit of a while, so I've got to remember all the, like, the buttons and stuff. Right, here's our first Sombo. Chomping away. Don't chomp too low, much lower there, though, buddy. I might have to, uh, you know, censor you. You heard what I said. <laughs> what the hell is that? Right, let's see if I can still do the knife thing. Yeah. Yep, okay, still got it. And, yeah, there we go. Chomp. Right, what I did notice as well is in the main hall, I'm going to assign this to three, because in the main hall, don't you remember when we beat the main game, um, we unlocked the machete for beating the game on hard mode, I think it was. I think that was a hard mode unlock. I think it was. And that's Liger in the, uh, the main hall here. Unless that was randomised, it doesn't actually spawn there all the time. Hmm. Let's have a look. Also, I should probably mention, yeah, like, there's going to be a lot of spoiler talk in this, because obviously this is my second playthrough of the game now. So, if you're watching this first, spoiler warnings, I, I have beaten the game to play this mode, so, you know, just be aware I'm going to be talking about stuff. That's what happened to the game. Here we go, and machete. Nice, I'm going to put you on two, and I'm actually going to use you for two reasons. One, I worked my dick off to unlock this machete, so I'm going to use this bad boy. You can't tell me otherwise. And secondly, this is going to be hard, like really hard to do. So, yeah. Right, save, bam. 
We do need to redo the uh, gun mini game, though. Which uh, I actually did on my first try last time, so, you know. Like when I was testing out the randomizer, I should say. Not to brag or anything, but that, that was the thing I did. Uh, William has been acting strangely ever since we moved to this manor. He's been spending all his time in the basement doing God knows what. I tried to ask him about it, but he gets angry. He became angry and confrontational. I feel we may be drifting apart. I hate this place. We never should have come here. Yes, he's the final boss of him, right, William? Uh, this was locked with a key. Yep, spade. And here's the mini game room. Cool. I think these were like the same. Yeah, these don't seem to change by the looks of it. But it's only 150. Can I pick up, please? There you go. Uh, cool, let's see if I can get this first try again. Oh. Damn. So it's the five one that lines up to the side there. That's there we go. Yeah, I did this like a couple of times I think oh, God. in the uh, main game so I've got a little bit of practice in the way that aiming works ah no he says as he misses a few times that's probably going to disappear by the time I get to it so damn to be fair I think I have plenty of time without having to worry too much about getting the fives If I wouldn't miss <laughs> the uh, time bonus that off match. Damn. We're at 85, okay. Ah, damn. Surprised I got one in time. Was it 150 we needed? Wait, should another time coming around soon. Yep, there we go. Oop. Damn it. There we go. I think we've already hit the target though. Yeah, 150 is all we needed to be out if we did that. Nice. Go cool, take the health, gonna need that. I can't remember if the stuff in here is uh, random or not. I think that's random. I don't remember getting dynamite in here. We'll need that dynamite though, because there's one room when I was testing out the uh, this randomizer. The one room I sort of died at, and I was like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be hard. Was the kitchen? All the enemies in the meat locker area are random, but they all sort of pour out. So yeah. I'm going to put the save down so I have to do that mini game again. And here we go, it's going to be the first test of the random enemies. What we got? Skeletons. Good, so I can actually use my uh, machete on. When I did this, I got a ghoul in that side from the cave and a spider. It's like, great, I can't use my machete on that, really. <laughs> 
So I've got the uh, knife still equipped on my hotkeys because of um, uh, was it spider webs. I'm pretty sure the knife is what uh, the better choice for destroying them. Uh, I'll examine this so that way it's on my map. So I think that's how the map updates, isn't it? Yeah, you get the puzzles from examining them. Uh, crap, what is the way? Is it this one? Yeah, this is this room, and then the other side, I think, is the hallway. I think key items don't seem to be random, it looks like. So I think the course of the game still remains the same. Uh, oh, no, not that one. That one. Uh, access to some areas in Nevada have been obstructed by a strange fleshy growth. Lord William has tasked me with finding a solution to this issue. I've discovered that a mixture containing equal amounts of lanolin, odesium, and aquaverum can be used to create a corrosive acid that can dissolve the fleshy growth and regain access to previously obstructed areas. Here's that amnesia dark descent stuff. I love how many references there are in this game. I know that was like one of the main things I mentioned back in the original playthrough. But yeah, all the references, just awesome. Uh, right, okay, so is this the kitchen or is this the hallway? This is the kitchen, yeah, this is the room where I got absolutely destroyed when I was testing it out, because all these guys in here uh, are coming out and killing me. Uh, Dunwaiter. The, dun, dun, the damn Dunwaiter is broken again. I was sending up the pantry key to the second floor and the platform got stuck in a shaft on top on the way up. No, now no one can get into the pantry till the stupid lift is fixed. The old William is going to be furious. They be dropping something heavy into the shaft. Yep, you know this one. So I'm curious if not the bosses change at all. Like, is this guy still going to be the meat golem guy? Right. Okay. Uh. I don't remember how to use this. That's the thing. Do I just attack with it a couple times, or I don't want to waste it? Uh, it's the door to the pantry. The faint stench of rotten meat is coming from behind it. You try to open the door, but it won't budge. After a moment, a rough voice suddenly calls out to you from the other side. <coughs> Someone there, please! I need help. <coughs> I've accidentally locked myself in here, and I can't get back out. <coughs> While I've been stuck in here, my precious collection has been rotting away. I must escape so that I can add fresh toys to it. Please, we can help each other. You wish to get in, and I wish to get out. The key to the door should be somewhere in the manor. It's a large blue key with the word pantry carved into it. Please hurry. I do not wish to spend another moment stuck in here. My collection is rotting away. Ow, ow. Ah, oh god, that is a lot of badness in that room. Uh. Oh god, archers, ugh, uh. Oof. Oh, it's a guy throwing spears, ugh. I'm not too sure if the uh, the bomb helped. I killed uh, one zombie, a ghoul. Okay, it killed two, and I'm assuming it kind of weeks the others. Maybe that's that's. What I mean, that room, that room absolutely destroyed me last time. Because I think when I did it before, there was like a knight in there, like one of the ones with the shields and stuff. So. Yeah, that's a very brutal area, just saying. Especially as you do it right at the start of the game, you don't really have anything. That's what I kind of was hoping I'd get a stick of dynamite. Okay, but that's done, so that's good. Okay. There's the thing, I think this leads out onto the corridor. Ah! I was going to say, I probably shouldn't be here though. Out. Because, uh, yeah, I'd be in the middle of all the crap. 
Uh-oh. Great. Damn it. <laughs> so my healing. I should have come in through the other side. The door that's down there. Because then I would have had uh, my back to a wall and I could have taken them one at a time. And that sounds like spiders. Crap, there's a spider around that way, isn't there? I know there is. Oh crap. I forgot you moving back is like garbage in this game. Okay, okay, we've got to save down though. Which means we have to do that damn meat locker room again. Damn it. Well, actually, we don't need to do it right away because we only get the meat, which is for the done waiter, which we don't need yet. Uh oh. Okay, well that sucks, didn't get him in one go that time. I could be using the handgun on them, but I think it's not quite powerful enough for those guys. Uh, no, uh, no. Right, I'm going to go in this room though, because this room has bullets. And the jar. Yep, okay. I mean, really, I should do this anyway, I guess. Especially now that I sort of remember how the uh, thing works, the dynamite. Uh, okay. Okay. That's done. Right, that went better. Man, where was that effective dynamite throw the last time? It actually killed all of them now. And I only need to drink one thing. You know what, I might actually go back and save that. Because I am not chancing the fact that I don't get that good uh, of a throw the next time round. So I'm going to take this opportunity to save. Because this is not the game that gives you auto-saves. <laughs> Bam. It's good that it actually labels it as randomizer as well. On the, uh, the save thing. Right, okay, so. Oh, boy. Oof. Right, this was a skeleton. Remember, right? Funny how I'm getting a bunch of skeletons. Uh oh. Oh. Thanks for waiting slightly so I could uh, do that. Right, okay. He's dying. <laughs> I hate just having the handgun. I mean, I love it because it's a Glock, but I also just hate having just the handgun because, uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of the things I'm fighting require more. Cool. I forgot you could open up some cabinets. Probably should have been paying more attention to that. Right, so there was two skellies on this. Oh, there's a skelly and then there's a skelly of a shield. Right. Oh, I can take care of this. Oh, uh. Oh, okay. Hmm. I can take care of the guy that doesn't have a shield. The guy with the shield, I don't think handgun does like anything to them. I 
That's right. Oh, I don't want to... oh actually, yeah, if I get you now. Actually, that's too early. Cool. And then... No, I don't think that's going to do anything. The handgun just doesn't have that much, uh, like, destructive, like, breaking power. I need a shotgun for that. Right, but the patrolling guy is gone, which means that this guy shouldn't notice me so easily. So he, he says as he gets immediately noticed. Oh great, this boss, I forgot about that. That's one thing as well that's going to be really annoying. Because I had an issue with ammo with bosses a lot of the time. If I'm dealing with much harder enemies randomly throughout the mansion and stuff, I'm going to have even less ammo. What I was saying that I did learn a few things about um, some like very powerful items that I missed, like the flasks and stuff. So... To be fair, I did kind of go to that final boss with a bit of a um, lack of weaponry. <laughs> that was my bad. Uh, okay. You're just going to be an issue, ain't you? Ugh. Okay. Just gotta make sure I destroy the uh, top part of the shield if I'm gonna do the handgun. Right, so I think at the end of this passage there is some zombie or enemies. I shouldn't say zombies because. Oh, they are actually zombies. And there's a dog. Can I. Oh, two dogs. <laughs> Let's go in here first. Okay, so this is where I get the shotgun normally. Uh, this is gonna suck. This might be random enemies. Ugh. Okay, it is a shotgun. This is scary because I feel like I need to go back and save it like so often. Okay, uh, shotgun. Oh, it's just zombies, eh? I guess the animation probably, uh... Oh, survived. Need you not to do that. Okay, if it's just zombies, that's good, because I can save ammo and do it with the machete. Which I guess will also help me later on for the bosses with the whole ammo situation I was talking about. Right, that's good though, we've got the shotgun. That's it, you come over here. I don't want the dogs to see me just yet. See the little red glint in the eye as well. See, I don't, one thing I don't remember about this is where all the save points are. Because at the moment the only one I've got is here and I hate having to keep going back to... Well, I'm saying that it's not actually too far away. Maybe I'll do that now. Just quickly uh, pop back this way, pop a save down. Because I've not made like a lot of progress, but it's pro. It's a lot of stuff, tedious like enemy stuff that I have to redo if I die. Which, let's be honest, with the random enemies in this game can be very easily. Especially on hard mode. Uh, this one next. I wonder if actually difficulty actually affects the kinds of enemies that you'll get. Like you're less likely to get harder enemy types if you put it on normal, as well as like them doing less damage to you. Probably not. It probably is just like random. Come on, even I can sprint faster than you, or further than you. Wait. Thank God for getting this for Shady though. I wonder if hard mode randomizer would even be unlocked if I didn't beat hard mode in the base game. Ok, 
Can I get just one of you here? Ooh. Oh, that was nice. I mean, brutal, but that was a nice hit. <laughs> that was well timed. Oh, crap. You jerk. Are you just dead? <laughs> He says to the corpse. I mean, like, you're not a zombie, are you? <laughs> you know what I meant. Oh, here we go. I probably should be like, oh god. Doing that to those guys. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it just in case. Come on. I'm about to say, if you survive the second hit. Oh, save point. Nice, okay. Uh, poop. We can go a bit further. Why not? I'm about to say, I'm pretty sure I got the guy up here. This was the uh, the ghoul. Oh wait, is this room like filled with enemies, or is that later? Yeah, that's later. That's after I do the ladder thing. I think there's like a bunch of enemies that spawn in here. I think there's also a bunch of locked doors. Yeah, that's the club. That's the uh, dud waiter. There we go. Which means the boss is uh, available to fight. I remember being quite a nuisance. All the bosses in this game I feel like were quite tricky to fight actually. Especially in comparison to Resident Evil bosses, which are kind of easy for the most part. Classic Resident Evil, I should say. Uh, I need a key for this, don't I? Where I can do anything, yeah. Club. Uh, wait, which was the one that I came in from? Uh, right, it's not this one. Oh, hi. I don't want a chance to fact that the shit is good or bad on you, so I might just shotgun you. I mean, the machete might be good, but I think you attack pretty quickly when I'm near you, so, you know. Uh, bloody writing on the wall reads, death is the only way out. Which I guess from the, uh, oh, magnum ammo, nice. From the main game, we kind of discovered, yeah, <laughs> we only escaped when we actually died. Like, we, like, did everything we, like, we should have done. And it didn't matter, we died anyway. Right, that's from that, but I think that's what caused all the enemies to spawn. Oh crap. Oh, oh god. Okay then. Oh really? You still got that spear off? See, rooms like that. That's the kind of room I fear. I could easily have just been absolutely destroyed if I didn't leave the room just then. Oh, hi. That's the thing, Go doing this isn't really a good way of avoiding attacks. You need to like, quickly turn and run. Uh, 
Uh, remember, this is the cat. <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. Thanks for freeing me from that washing machine. Who knows how long I would have been stuck in there if you hadn't come along. It's also like a shiny machine. I went in to get it, the lid closed on me. I couldn't get back out. I managed to get the shiny thing that was inside. Since you saved me, I'll give it to you. Here, take it. Maybe you can find a use for it. Cat places down a large coin. That's for the fireplace thing. Uh. <laughs> oh god, okay. Tell you what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna save. Right, uh, do that. <laughs> Uh, right. Thankfully, I was lucky enough to get some shotgun shells. In the oh, while well, exploring. Okay, let's see what we got. I think I just got really lucky with that shot, but damn my health. There'd be some healing juice in here, <laughs> just saying. I don't know how I could have done that any, like, smoother, to be fair. Oh great, I got back less shotgun shells than I used. Okay, I got back about the same shotgun shells that I used. Okay, I need to come here now. <laughs> Cool. Unlike the main game, I'm uh, not getting any kind of surplus in my healing items. That's gonna make bosses really hard. Right, okay, I might pop down another save, and I might call this part here, because next things to do are gonna be either the boss, or doing the ladder and then causing a bunch of stuff to spawn in that room. Which is kind of the bane of randomizer. Lots of enemies in the room. Because lots of enemies means more variety in the room as well. Which sucks to try and deal with. So I hope you enjoyed this first part of the randomizer. If you did, have a like and a comment. Share it anyone, slap the subscribe button. It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.